It is a balmy 20 degrees here, Fahrenheit in New England. Wade here from the Grand Streeters, and I have procured for myself a hot beverage from Starbucks and some croissants. Yes, warmed croissants. Warmed croissants to go with the 20 degrees that's currently in the air. Yes, a little chilly this morning. A little chilly. And I'm filming on my new iPhone 13. So, should be a good picture. Yes. Today we're going to go to the New England RV display fair. Yes. Convention. In Springfield, Mass. At the Big E. So, come and join us. Okay, we're here at the Big E. Five bucks to park. So, uh, quite the bottleneck in the parking lot here. Okay, here we go. Grab a bag and you They got all sorts of booths and uh, exhibits in this hall. There's three different halls, actually four different halls. So we'll try to hit as much as we can. Within one minute of getting into the uh, fair, somebody stopped us to say hello. So, greetings to those of you who watch us and were attending the show. We sure enjoyed meeting you. Yes, so. yes we did. It was a nice to yeah. On with the show. One of the first things we found here is the seminar area. They have a couple of different seminars going on. Capital Golf Cart World is on display here too, just in case you wanted to add a golf cart to your uh, toy hauler. You can save $500 off the sale price this weekend only. Of course, you can't go to a camping thing without talking about the Boy Scouts. Verizon's got a booth here. They're only calling, but they're not too far from where we are, so that would be great. Yeah, they just crossed the border in Mass. Yeah, so, for yeah, 4th of July, that would be great. That's the Pines Campground, Ashby, Mass. Yes. Oh, now, here's a really nice exhibit. Hats. Yeah. What do they got? Pete's RV Center is now hiring. Olive wood crafts. All of these things are made out of olive wood. Sharon says she really likes the cross here. Like these, uh, these coasters right here. Nativity sets made out of olive wood. That's really nice. More hats. The nut lady. No butters or oils. Ah, nuts. It's fudge. Nuts and fudge, they go together well. Belgian. I like that. Look at that. Of course, there's my favorite chocolate walnuts. Now, did you know that there's a campground on Martha's Vineyard? It's like a little playground, maybe miniature golf and cabins. And you, you take the ferry over. You could actually take the RV over on the ferry. I think this is probably the only skunk you'll see over there. So, shoulder season, which is May and June, you can bring dogs. After that, you can't, because there's too much activity and things going on. Got some ATVs on sale here. I don't think that's the type of generator you want at your campsite. No, and that's way too big for our rig. <laughs> It's really noisy. Yes. It's the one that your neighbors don't appreciate. Right. The booth called Soldier Solutions. Bam! Fire starter. You get one of those. That's for free. You need something to throw Really stickers. Way better than bumper stickers, they say. How about one of those, Sharon? I knew you'd find that one. See, where's the lab? Do you see the lab? Kind of looks like. Right there? There you go. Now, this looks very interesting. This two so so guys custom cabinet canvas and repair wonder if they could do a whole trailer cover they got some beef jerky sales going on here veggie dips olive oil blends and dessert mixes okay so what do i try bacon horseradish 
I think so, bacon horseradish. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Plenty of hot sauces here too. Carolina Reaper. Okay, so this looks like an interesting place. Circle CG Farm, campground and RV park. Um, attracted by the saddles there. Yeah. They do Christmas in July. Christmas in July? Yeah. That sounds expensive. <laughs> so this was a very interesting booth here. It's a spray-on uh, coating that goes on your RV roof. Uh, helps to protect the vinyl lining that's usually on the roof. It's much firmer, much more solid. Uh, it'll protect against the dragging of tree branches. It helps to keep your RV cooler in the summer. And the guarantee for this stays with the RV. So in other words, if you uh, sell your RV, the guarantee can go with the, the RV to the new buyer. Microwave bowl cozies. I like this towel. Drink coffee, do stupid things faster. Lots of choices here for the dog bandanas. Oh, there's a pirate one. We got some iced tea concentrates here. Your favorite flavors today. Well, I think I'm going to go for the southern sweet tea. Let's try that. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is sweet. Let's try the sweet horseradish. No, I just tried the horseradish. Oh, that's different. A little bit of the horseradish. Yeah, it's pretty good. Colored flames. Never camp alone. They got it in a hoodie too. That one's really cute. With the hoodie? The hoodie, yeah. Never camp alone. Got some other things over here, like chicken's feet. Wilderness Edge Campground, Minnemaka Ping. What do we got here? These are like, um, you know, I can't think of the name. Sonar lights. Like solar lights, yeah. Solar lights, yeah. yeah. And I, I like this one. Yeah. And where's the other one you just showed me? Oh, I like this one with the thermometer. Yeah, oh, well, that's nice. Which I like I like the one over here with the uh, bear and the cardinal on it. Oh, yeah, oh, there's the one with the cardinal. Yeah. Yeah. And in Vermont, <laughs> not far from us. And in that, and we purchased a new Looks like Running Bear camping area has bands. I'll have to let Chris know. Oh. Looking at Waukita Family Campground in Hampton Falls. I think we have a reservation for them this year. Prospect Mountain Campground, Massachusetts. It's like the Shriners are here, making balloons and having clowns. Pepper's Pond in Maine, they're pretty close to the New Hampshire border, looks like. Sharon and I got separated. I'm trying to find her. I know, it's pretty crowded. I may not be able to find her. Oh, there she is. Goodness. Stopped at Sugar Ridge. Yes, I got info. And they're not that far from Keene. Oh, good. So we're shining up for a possible two free nights here. But we might check them out anyway. This campground actually has a train that runs through it. There's a couple around there. Where are my steak? It's pretty good. You like it? Yeah. Sheroy Camping Area in Richmond, New Hampshire. I think we're going to try Just that. Just to be able, you know, we do a lot of weekends, so we can easily get down there on Friday night. I have a lot of people from the East So the Ashilet River Campground is just south of Keene in Swansea, not far from where we live. Hi, just thought I'd hang out with Flo here for a while. Hi Flo, how you doing? 
She's speechless. Do you know how far you can go? I don't know. I know I hate to say I thought I was going to go the whole uh, show and not see any maple syrup. They have some here for the Vermont campground. I'd say it's a little busy inside these uh, Class A's. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you think? Should we check out the Class A just to see what it's like? Sure, just to see. Just a dream. That's pretty steep. Well, wow. here's the cockpit. Class A. Your kitchen area. Yep. Glass top stove. Half bath. And master bedroom. With a uh, ensuite in the back. Okay, well, that takes care of most of the display booths and everything. Yep. Uh, had some nice transactions, some nice stuff to see, some campgrounds. I'm sure we're going to see some more campgrounds. Yep. Um, now, we're going to take a look at a couple of the uh, rigs. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the smaller rigs and compare what some of the other companies have with what our grand design uh, MKE yep. 17 is. Yep. So, uh, our Imagine XLS. So, here we go. So what we have here is the Sonic Light by Ventura RV. I'm going to take a look inside. It's got a sink in the back. That's and, metal sink. Yeah, it's got a nice metal sink. Two burner stove. Let's see, oh, it's got uh, a latch on the bottom. A refrigerator. Kind of a smaller fridge than ours. Yeah, okay. Microwave above the fridge. Cabinetry above the sinks. Pretty roomy storage, but it's got a little little rounding at the top. Next to the sink is your control panel. Dinette in the slide. Bathroom directly across from the dinette. It is a dry bath with a shower. And a steel sink in the bathroom. It looks like a porcelain. A porcelain toilet, yep. Area. And the bed area. I'm not sure that I care for the uh, the way the front looks. I mean, that's just, you know, like wallpaper up there rather than the nice cloth that we have. Uh, and like it's, an it, accent wild, it's a nice accent, but I'd be worried about it peeling when the, in the moisture. Yeah. And uh, yeah, window in the front. Okay, we're going to try to check out the Winnebago's here and see what that looks like. Okay, here we are, Winnebago 2100BH. Okay, it's got the side sleeper bed. Yeah, this is not like his. This is kind of nice. It's got a nice metal sink doesn't have an oven, but it does have a nice stove top. They all have these grapes on them now. Yeah. Fridge is like ours. It's a domatic fridge, yep. Freezer, yep. Two bunks. No sink in the bathroom. Plastic toilet and the, uh, it's got a nice little art shower curtain so it gives you a little more room so the price for this is 33631 and how much compared to ours higher a lot well, higher than ours yeah, okay something to note is that uh, grand design which we have is now owned by winnebago i guess they bought it a few years back but yeah yeah once that happened we saw some improvements in winnebago yes, so that was did. that was a nice nice upgrade for them i think right there's a nice 
Micro Mini. Got a very nice pass-through underneath the front portion here. Double axle. 1708 FB control panel and stuff just off to the left as you enter with the TV. Bathroom in the back behind the left. It's a medic fridge. Nice little cooktop and sink. That's about all you have for the space. And then all your other prep would be here at the uh, cafe for two. Cafe table for two. It's like a front side sleeper. Yeah, yeah this is about the size that he had. Previous. Yeah, yeah. one of our favorite vloggers had a, si uh, a little Winnebago about this size. Plastic sink, corner shower. Very little room for the toilet. Plastic toilet. I suppose if you're traveling really light and just, you know, a single yeah. couple or whatever, or a single guy, this this works really nice. What? This rig is sold. Sold already. Look at that. That's, so this is the inside of the van that's sold. Catalina's by Coachman. This Catalina weighs 4,048 pounds. Has a Murphy bed and a little outside kitchen, but it's a single axle. So this Catalina's got a Murphy bed. It kind of leans out, though, I've noticed. There's no side cabinets. That's why it does that. Yeah. It's a little prominent. Okay. Yeah, it's got a raised uh, cafe area and uh, two burners. Yeah. What's the sink like? Plastic. Okay. Plastic. And then it's got a you know, pretty average fridge here. Yep. Got a couple of bunks. And the bathroom's pretty decent size for a couple's camper. Plastic sinks, plastic toilet though. This Ibex is 3,694 pounds. Solar power included. Has a little hang-on grill. It's a single axle. Refrigerator just inside the doorway. Bathroom right across from the entrance here. Oh, it's got an enclosed shower. And then a toilet and plastic sink. That's fairly nice bathroom. It does not have the dinette, but it does have a couch with a table in front of it and a permanent bed. This reminds me a little bit of the Freedom Express we looked at. Yes. What's the sink? Metal? Yes. Yep, metal sink, two burner stove, no, little microwave not. underneath the uh, stove. And TV across from the couch. Moderate amount of storage in here. Rockwood Mini Light. We looked at one of those when we were buying ours. Let's go see what it looks like now. So the Rockwood is 4,981 pounds and a double axle. I will say that they have these nice uh, lights on the very front of them to eliminate your unhitching or hitching up at night. Has solar power and a Murphy bed, like ours. The stairs are a little crooked. Yeah. Yep, there's a, it's a nice Murphy bed. It's got one of those that fold down and then the, the legs impact upon the floor. Little cafe area. An L-styled kitchen. Yeah, stainless steel double sink. And a wet curion stove and a, with yeah. oven. Microwave above. Now, can you imagine me trying to put something in and out of this one? I Ooh. can't even see or hardly reach. Never mind if something hot came out of there. That would not be good for me. No. It's got a glassed-in shower, plastic sink, and a plastic toilet. And then a uh, stainless steel fridge. Is that a 12 volt? I think so. Storage is a little limited here. It's a nice fridge. Other storage is a little limited though. Yep. A little different than the one we looked at before. Yep. Uh, of course, that one was 
That one was older. This one is brand new. Yeah. So next, I think we're going to look at the Cherokee brands, uh, which would include the Wolf Pups. Yeah. Which we were interested in a Wolf Pup at first, but uh, they were all single axle. And yeah. so we wanted something a little more stable with a double axle. Yes. So here's the Wolf Pup. Has a relatively nice pass through. Yeah. A little dark in there, though. They weigh, uh, what? Dry weight's 3,031 pounds, which is why I was interested in it. Hitch weight was 444 pounds. It does come with an outdoor fridge. Of course, single axle. It's got a Murphy bed. I guess the uh, seat folds down and the, becomes yeah. the base for the Murphy mattress. It's just the mattress that folds over. There is no slide on this one. Uh, it does have a metal sink and a, what, two burner stove? Yep. Microwave overhead. Little cafe area for two. And the bathroom in the back. High. Very high uh, microwave, yep. Plastic toilet. Again, not a whole lot of storage in this one, but it is a small trailer and uh, it's lightweight. The price on this one is currently 25694 Oh, here we go. A retro. I love the retros. Yes. There's a red one, and then there's another one that's kind of the colors of your your grandparents. The teal, the teal yeah. color, yeah. Yeah, I love this. Look at this paneling on here. The old red seats. Side sleep bed. It is a small couple's camper. Oh, well, wait a minute. It isn't. Look at that. It's got a couple of bunks in the back. Steel sink. Furion stove and oven, small oven though. Just have a fridge with a, a nice paneling on the front. And uh, looks like a plastic toilet, plastic sink, all plastic in the bathroom. But it's got the paneling. That's what I really like about these retros is the paneling. Of course, you probably can't hear anything I'm saying because the, you've got the air conditioner running. Pretty noisy. Now here's, here's the price numbers on the uh, retro. Yeah, this would be a nice family camp camper, um, especially if you like that retro look, which I do. Here's another one of those little retros. One of the other ones that I was interested in looking at when we were buying was the Lance. I've heard very good things about the quality of their uh, RVs. Someone just came out of that Lance small trailer and said it was fifty-eight thousand. I gotta go figure out what's. That's a lot of money. Yes. Okay, let's see what they're like. Okay, this has got a Murphy bed mattress in the front with a fold-down bench. It's pretty wide and spacious. I like the color patterns on it. It's got a cafe seating. Uh, the countertop is wide or, or deep. Not as wide as ours, but it is a little deep. And it's got, oh, it's got a fiberglass sink. That's different. Yeah, it's got a nice uh, suburban stove. And, uh, you know, the usual fridge stuff. Yep. What do you think about the storage? The door's better. Yep. But, but good storage. I mean, there's quite a bit. Bathroom in the rear. It's pretty spacious. There's a single sink. Plastic toilet, plastic shower. Plenty of storage in here. 66.5. Show price of fifty nine nine. So the question becomes, is it worth the price? That's a question you have to answer. Exactly. Well, as I was editing the video, I realized that we never really filmed an outro for the, the show. But what you got to see were the highlights of the show. Uh, there was much more that we did that we couldn't film or uh, didn't have a chance to film or just wouldn't fit into the video. Uh, it was a very large show. We spent about five hours there and saw a lot of things. Got to meet some people that watch our channel, which we very much enjoyed meeting you. Um, and got to meet some people that were curious about what we do. And we got to meet a lot of people who we will be going to their campgrounds this uh, summer so stay tuned to the channel for that as a matter of fact if you like the video click the like button 
and subscribe and click the little notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload those videos to those campgrounds that we're going to go visit. So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the street.